My name is Hayden Fox. I'm standing in front of a Sea and Spray premium sprayer here at our second annual High Plains Ag Expo. So one thing we're really focusing on this year is precision upgrade kits. How do we maximize the technology using the equipment that we have? So this Sea and Spray premium machine behind me, this started its life as just a conventional exact apply sprayer. The customer decided he wanted to add Sea and Spray and so utilizing one of the programs that Deer had out that offered Sea and Spray technology at a fairly low cost. We were able to take this machine in and add the scene spray kit to it. This machine's a little bit special. When scene spray first came to market, we could only get it on a 120 foot sprayer. This is the first 100 foot machine that I'm standing in front of here that we've got. Next year and moving forward, we'll be able to order scene spray technology on 90, 100, and 120 foot sprayers. And we can retrofit those kits all the way back to model year 18 and newer that have exact apply technology already. We're pretty excited about the changes coming to all this technology and we're excited about the potential of adding more products to the portfolio that we can retrofit to older equipment. I'm Trey Ferringer. I'm a precision ag consultant at a Sterling, Colorado location. Talking about uh, precision upgrade kits, or pucks for short, here's a good example behind me of a sprayer puck. We got a sea and spray premium machine here, 100 foot boom on a 410R. We just put this kit on last week and went pretty smoothly and able to get this machine upgraded to some new technology even though it's a couple year old machine. So the puck kit shows up from Deer and we're able to just take everything that they send to us and it's basically bolt on ready on these sprayer pucks now. All the cameras, all the brackets, everything we need, the harnesses that are all there and put it right onto the machine and it took us about a day to do the entire machine, so pretty quick, pretty simple compared to what it used to be. So to upgrade to a Sea and Spray Premium machine, you're about $25,000 to $30,000 depending on what options you do. Compare that to buying a new machine and you're way ahead on price. Sea and Spray Premium, the entire point of this is uh, chemical savings, right? So we want to be able to go through our field, spray just our weeds, not be wasting chemical out on the field where we're not doing any good. These guys are able to take this machine out, basically focus on exactly where all those weeds are and see a lot of chemical savings that way. So for sprayer pucks, we can upgrade to Exact Apply. We can upgrade to Ink Pros is what it's called. So Individual Nozzle Control Pro. So it's basically the same system as Exact Apply. So you get your pulse width modulation, you get turn compensation, individual nozzle control. The only difference between that and Exact Apply is the Ink Pro, you don't get the two nozzle body style. It's a single nozzle and other than that, it's pretty much the same as Exact Apply. Some of the other options out there are the CN spray machine, obviously. Uh, we can upgrade to a BoomTrack Pro 2 and some LED lighting kits. So this is a big benefit to customers being able to upgrade their technology, uh, not having to trade in their actual machine. They just trade in some of their technology and they get all the benefits of a new machine on their older sprayer. Hi, my name's Hank Jackson. I'm part of the Precision Ag team covering our northern locations. So I'm standing in front of the Sea and Spray Ultimate machine. What makes it an Ultimate machine is the two tank system along with the carbon fiber booms. With Sea and Spray technology, John Deere sprayers are able to visually see a weed and spray that weed and not just do a broadcast spray across the entire field. What you're seeing with Sea and Spray is a high amount of savings. Across 2024, we saw kind of an average savings of about 54 to 59 percent in chemical savings so what those cameras are doing is as you're going across the field they're recognizing what a weed is and they're able to just spray that weed instead of spraying crop and weed. Some of the feedback we've gotten from the Sea and Spray Ultimate machine is customers are able to split up their application tanks so they're they're splitting different chemicals to where in the past they're, they're unable to do that with a single tank system so they're changing their herbicide practices. They're, they're able to use one tank for sea and spray, one tank for your, their broadcast spray. That's really allowing them to customize some of their practices. Some of the feedback I've gotten is they're able to go out and with one sprayer, essentially they're making two passes across the field. So that's saving a lot of time and money. One really important thing that these sea and spray machines are giving to, to customers is weed pressure maps. As these machines are going out spraying, having the cameras kind of see where the weeds are at, it's sending weed pressure maps back into operation center. What that's doing for 
these customers is they're able to look at these weed pressure maps, see some trouble areas, how much savings they're getting from these maps. One important thing is you can you can use these maps to make decisions. You know, you're not just guessing, you're able to look at a field and say, okay, well, there's a lot of weeds over here on this west end. Maybe we need to change what we're doing on that side of the field to adjust our practices. Hey, I'm Troy Randall. We're here at the High Plains Expo. I'm with the Precision Ag team. One awesome feature we have now and had had for a while but is starting to gain a lot of traction and get a lot more interest is turn automation. If you have a good boundary, you can set up your headland. We set up those iTech functions for our enter and exit sequences, uh, especially on tractors. And then once we have those set up, it's pretty much hands off turning. The tractor will do those sequences, turn the machine around. It'll pick the implement up, turn around, put it back down, and then keep on going. And then even this year with some new software updates, it's even better. Uh, we have some enhancements that make uh, things like planning when it comes to section control, turning on or off. It takes that into account now too, so it'll actually wait to speed up or slow down the machine until all our sections are completely on or completely off. That way we're not speeding up, slowing down, and we're still sectioning on and off. So that's an awesome feature we have for the new software for 25.1 that just came out. Not only do we have it for tractors, but we have it for combines. We've had that for the past couple falls, so if you haven't used that, that's a very cool thing. And finally, hot off the press, we will finally have it for sprayers this summer too. So that's been a very highly asked feature for Tron Automation for sprayers. So it will be coming this summer with the 25.2 software, so be on the lookout for that because that's been a, a big request from all our customers. So if you were one of those customers, be on the lookout for that and utilize that in the sprayer this summer. So one thing we always hear when it comes to turn automation, everyone says like, well, I can do that myself. Well, of course you can, but why not let the machine do it? If it can do it, then you can focus on other things. I've helped quite a few guys get it set up, and then yes, you can turn around just fine, and some guys even say, hey, that gives me something to do too, but it's actually very nice to let the machine and the cool thing is it actually makes a perfect turn every single time. Customers can easily tell where turn automation was running because the turn is pretty much the perfect turn, perfect same turn every single time when you see the tire tracks on the end of the field. You know, we have a lot going on, especially when the planter. Yeah, well, a lot of things to keep track of, so why not let the tractor do that? That's one less thing you have to focus on. Let the tractor turn around. You can keep an eye on everything else, the planter, the fertilizer system. A lot of these machines have the technology, so let's utilize it, try it out. Your life will be easier, especially with long days when it comes to uh, doing tillage work, planting, spring uh, and even harvest work out in the field.